Hello and welcome to the UCSF Chimera Selections Tutorial. Selecting specific residues or regions is very important for visualization, comparison, and analysis of molecular structures. In this tutorial, you will learn to select specific atoms and residues interactively. You will also learn to select specific residues with a given residue number and chain ID as reported in the literature. The example file used in this tutorial is the PDB entry 2HBS showing the structure of a mutant hemoglobin causing sickle cell disease. To understand the structural basis of sickle cell disease, let's explore the interface between the two hemoglobin molecules. Notice here that in the current presentation, there is a side chain that is shown at the interface very close to a heme group. By placing the cursor over the, any atom of the residue, or by mousing over, we can identify that this residue is serine 9 in chain H of this PDB entry. To select any atom in this residue, press Control and left mouse click broaden the selection by clicking on the up arrow or narrow it by clicking on the down arrow. The right arrow inverts the selection and the left arrow undoes the last selection action. To select multiple atoms simultaneously, press on the shift control and click with the left mouse button on any of the atoms that you would like to select. To select a large area, keep the control button pressed and drag the left mouse button pressed to show a rectangle. All residues in that rectangle will be selected as highlighted here. With the control button pressed, clicking on an area outside the region of the molecule, deselects or removes the selection. The literature reports the sickle cell mutation as E6V, meaning the glutamate has been mutated to valine at position 6 in the hemoglobin beta chain. To locate this residue in the graphics window quickly, let's look at the sequence. So under favorites, Click on Sequence and select Chain H because we happen to know that this is the chain that we were looking at and Show. This shows the entire Chain H's amino acid sequence. If you mouse over each of these alphabets denoting the sequence, the residue number is shown at the bottom. Click and drag on valine 6 and see this residue highlighted in the graphics window. Now you can show the side chain and focus on it to examine it closely. For additional help and instructions, review the UCSF Chimera documentation and tutorials.